Hello everyone, it's good to see you all back. With the success of our last Rainco Ryman build, I thought it would be nice to showcase this all status version for those who don't use Prismatic all the time. And personally, I think this might be one of the best synergies fitting the exotic with what it offers, such as more status shards, a faster melee recharge, longer frost armor, faster turrets regeneration, and better flexibilities in terms of weapons to pick. So yeah, here's how it goes. So to start with the general aim and the of the build, our aim is to showcase the full stasis variation of Rainco Environment and how it's a much better fit in terms of offering better synergy. For this, we will be using Rainco Environment and the Prospector. To start with the exotic armor, Rhyme Current Raiment, with its exotic effect, Bleak Domain, it states, Your Bleak Watcher turrets are enhanced, with extended range and are surrounded by stasis crystals and a storm. While standing in the storm, you are granted icicles over time. Icicles activate when you fire your weapons, applying slowly the targets they hit. As covered before, the exotic encourages players to stay within its frost rift zone just so you can benefit from the extra slow effect it can provide for you. Now with this in mind, it's best you pair this with a status weapon with good range to it, like Live Fire, Wicked Implement, or Perseus D. Now I am using Live Fire as my version has a specific combo that pairs well with the frost armor mechanic that will also play a big part in the build. But as long as you pick an effective long range scout rifle, or long range weapon in general, for your common exotic, your other weapons could be generally whatever you like. For example, our second exotic is the Prospector, with its exotic effect, Excavation, which states, Grenades spawn a cluster bomb upon detonation. Defeating targets creates an arc explosion. I chose the weapon since it has been long forgotten by many, many players beforehand but also because its newly updated perks works out well against frozen targets. Since freezing is going to be a huge part in how our turrets work, it only makes sense to use the grenade launcher with huge blast radius to finish the job. A standard waveframe is still good to use, but I recommend you give the prospector a try first, since not only do the grenades do explosive damage, but they will also create cluster bombs and arc explosions all at once. This pair with the stasis or strand build is perfect, and further adding on the Concussive Reload mod is enough to outright kill most mini bosses within a full magazine. I know there are better to use, but honestly, don't sleep on this one. For aspects and fragments, we have the following Glacier Harvest, where freezing targets create status shards around the frozen target. Picking up shards will grant you frost armor and melee energy back. Bleak Watcher, where holding your grenades will convert your grenade into status turrets once thrown. Whispers of Durance, where your slow ability that you apply to targets is extended. Whispers of Fissures, which will increase the damage and size of your bursts of stasis when you destroy a stasis glacier or frozen target. Whispers of Rhyme, where your frost armor has increased duration and maximum stat count. And then lastly, Whispers of Conduction, where stasis shards will attract to you. Within the current kit's focus on collecting stasis shards and using frost armor on a large scale, it's going to be important we double down on this, just so everything in our kit is being used. Having Whispers of Rhyme and Conduction will extend how long our Frost Armor lasts up until whenever, while also allowing us to get shards to track to us when nearby. This will affect Glacier Harvest and Status Tools effectiveness, as both of them will trigger getting Status Shards to spawn when enemies are killed. After this, having Whispers of Durance is a must for both our exotic secondary effect of slowing targets down, and for our turrets to also be more effective. And then lastly, a fissure is all around great since it pairs well with pretty much everything we have, and we'll actually see the most usage from our melee since it can shatter targets on impact, so it will be a lot more stronger here. Now, I can also see Whispers of Shards also playing a part in the build, since Rhyme Coat effects can create glaciers on hand. This is also the same for Whispers of Rendering, which can grant a near 100% connect buff for primary weapons. Now, only issue with the two will be what to replace them with, since the items we currently have pair well with the build in general. However, the alternative do offer some benefits towards the build, since it's currently expanding our strengths we generally haven't expanded on at all, and as shown, this will provide some large-scale benefits depending on what you decide to pick with. And now for the mods and stats, we have both resilience and discipline marked with the highest priorities for the build. Resilience, we have ours at tier 10 for 30% damage reduction. I have added the Arc Resistance mod for the 15% damage reduction against Arc Attacks, but this will vary depending on the enemies we face. Outside of that, I also have Frost Arm in hand, which will be constantly produced from our weapons, subclass, and seasonal mods. 
The discipline we then have ours at tier 10 for a 1 minute 1 second cooldown via dustville grenades. While glaciers will be good for creating stasis shards as well, a dust field is better for its cooldown and wide area of control. Now to be honest, any grenade is fine to use here since cooldown is locked when using turrets, and depending on your playstyle, you won't be using the grenade itself too much when compared to our turrets usage. Since grenade cooldown isn't a huge issue with thanks to demolitions based weapons available, you can invest into other areas like shown. Impact induction times 2 for a 17% grenade buff. A focusing strike for a 12% class ability buff. And distribution times 1 for a 3% all ability buff will be generally all you need for the build. Additional mods we then have the following. Harmonic Siphon for creating all the power via matching elemental type. Heavy ammo finder. Reserve and scavenger mods for a heavy weapon. A charged up for a plus 1 in armor charge. A recuperation for replenishing health when clicking orbs of power, a stasis weapon surge for a 10% weapon buff, and powerful attraction for automatically clicking orbs of power when using your class ability. As we have covered our exotic priming weapon, I would then advise you to pick some super weapons for the build. What I recommend are all optional, so please keep this in mind. Our primary is the live fire scout rifle with rhyme stealer and headstone, a god war weapon that everyone should at least try and farm for. This weapon is amazing for its simple ability to allow us to get frost armor on the fly. Now, this is important since once the season does end, you won't be able to proc frost armor so easily unless you use the stasis subclass to achieve this or following weapon. While I can see Wicked Implement being a better choice for the season alone, the following is more flexible and actually benefits our entire stasis build, like shown. Now, secondary, we have the VS Velocity Baton with Demolitionist and High Ground. Gotten from the Vesper Host Dungeon, the following is quite good when paired with the following build as it can garner grenade energy which we will need and also apply more damage just from their higher elevations and also apply a debuff via Concussive Reload. Now while many of you may not have the following which is completely fine, I do encourage you to try and get the following with Demolitionist on just to help the build out. If this is not enough, then getting a new Pacific Etipa with Demo is also good but it will mean you can't use fast armor more often via your primary weapon kills. Now you will find that rhyme code when compared to other stasis exotics will come out on top with how popular and pretty satisfactory its inner ability is for you and allies. While using your turret like normal and placing an area that is grouped up with enemies is more beneficial, rhyme code encourages players to keep it as close as possible to players just so you can benefit more from that slow effect it provides. And this slow and glacier to provide is not something you want this and this slow and glacier to provide is not something you want to sleep on, as that extra slow can prevent certain fast enemies from closing the gap, while the glaciers can provide extra damage or even provide shards if you have the right fragments to trigger this. This is why, personally, when you compare this version to my prismatic version, it shows how much more better it is as you're basically tripling down on the stasis as a whole, rather than using it with only a few handful of elements. A glacial harvest within our current build will allow us to gather tons of false armor without the need of seasonal mods or perks to trigger this. Combine this with whispers of rhyme and induction, and you can stay as a walking ice tank from start to finish. Or even better, if you have multiple turrets at once, add on whispers of shards and a demolitionist weapon, and boom! Multiple turrets all at once, while also getting damage reduction at the same time. So while Prismatic can offer the same idea and strength as Stasis does, Stasis subclass allows the build to focus less on turrets and more on the additional fragments and aspects that will happily expand our effects even more. Basically, more shards, more turret uptime, more frost armor, more everything. So there we have it, I hope you all enjoyed the build breakdown. If you have any thoughts on the content shared, then please leave a comment below. While you enjoy the content and want more of these videos, then leave a like and a sub while you're here. A dim link for the build is located below in the pinned section, and I do advise you to check out my playlist for more. It was great sharing today's video with you all, and I hope to see you again soon.